friends. Here we go again with another edition of Children's Church Live. That's right, from the secret hideout studio. That's right, it's so secret, it's like right across the street from your house. Yeah, and you don't even know it. That's secret. Yeah, well, uh, before we get started here, I want to say hi to some friends. I lost my page already. I only have one page here, but uh, <laughs> thanks for tuning in. I always look forward to seeing you guys, and, and stay tuned in today because I'm going to do something I really haven't done yet. I want to speak to the adults, yeah, to maybe some parents even of uh, some of the young people I've been aiming to minister to for sometime but you young people stay here too because there's surely something for you well i like to start off with saying hello to some friends but you know i said i'm aiming at the parents so let me say hello to, to some of these friends and say hello to han and cub and deb and mary ellen and Tino and ricky and tess and sue and sandy and fred and and zig and gang and Charity and Dustin and Raven and Elisha and, and Rhonda and Rick and Andy and Catherine and Hootie and Kathy and, and Allison and... Sorry if I missed your name. I love you guys. I, I think about you like every week. Yeah, I do. Yes, I do. Well, uh, let me give you my little gracious greeting here uh, before we go too much forward. Too much further forward. Good morning, young people moving around in older vehicles. Right. Good morning, young people moving around in older vehicles. And we'll talk about that, but I want to pray and then we can get started. So help me, Father, to speak to the young today and to the older, and maybe even to the old, uh, your truth, your uh, life-saving truth, uh, your love. Um, come to us in Jesus. Help Holy Spirit, I love you and I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I want to sing some songs, maybe take you back to your childhood. You want to help? <laughs> well, you just jump right in anywhere. Not just anywhere, but... This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine, let it shine Let it shine and This little light of mine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine, let it shine Let it shine Hide it under a bushel? Oh no! Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Won't let Satan hoof it out, won't let Satan hoof it out, I'm gonna let it shine. Won't let Satan hoof it out, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Sing this little light of mine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. One more time. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I don't know about you, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Not too bad for a start there. Let's do another one. Uh, I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves even me. Say, I'm so glad. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves even me. Jesus loves even me. 
Jesus loves even you. Yeah. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Help me sing. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Oh, the Bible tells me so. Pretty good singing, you old guys, now old girls. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to uh, the older models today, and you young people stick around here because there's something in there for you. I'm going to go back to my little gracious greeting. Good morning, young people moving around in older vehicles. We do something very different today and speak to young people in older vehicles. I'm talking to the adults, maybe the parents of these young ones that are uh, reaching out to every Sunday. And a lot of you other friends, you know, I believe with all my heart that there is the heart of a child still very much alive in you guys in these older vehicles. I do. These bodies, whatever age and shape they may be in, you know, age and life has called us and made us to grow up and to move forward away from the social relational things of school days, from the cultivating of friendships, from learning something new every day, from play and recess and laughter to work and break time and the burdens of adulthood that children know little or nothing about, which is a beautiful thing. <laughs> oh, you have the, remember no worries? Yeah. Well, you have the occasional moments of joy you may find, maybe in the joy of uh, your children or maybe even your grandchildren uh, and playing or Maybe you're involved in some play type of activity yourself, like a bowling team or a, a golf or a softball team or volleyball or basketball or something. And then our bodies remind us <laughs> of our age. And then back to work tomorrow. Act your age, we're told. And the child inside says, I don't want to. <laughs> well, maybe to some degree it is an act. You tell yourself you're strong enough to handle this working and earning and parenting and a life of sacrificing our joy for the better life of our children. Life is hard. However, say however. However. <laughs> God is good. Life is hard, but God is good. Life maybe has knocked you around and rolled you into places you maybe didn't expect to be, and God has brought you through some real difficulties, and you're alive today, which is amazing. Some scars to show and some wear, but God, I like to say, but God. Even despite our wrongdoings or wrong choices or circumstances, God, for his reasons, has preserved us till today. I thank God maybe every day I'm still here. And old age, well, it's a privilege given to few. And we all know some people who are no longer with us, and we miss them often. But for God's purposes, we are still here. Most unusual. Hmm. In the New Testament book, the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verse 10, Jesus said, The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. 
I have come, Jesus said, that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. Did you know that your identity has been stolen? <laughs> By the devil. Not your financial wealth, but your true identity. You are created and chosen by God for his purposes. But the devil doesn't want you to know it and understand it and use it. Remember as a child laying back in the grass, looking up at the clouds and, and wondering, or uh, looking up at the millions of stars in the night sky and marveling? Some of the earliest thoughts about God moving around in your head there. Let's read some. Uh, I don't expect you to have your Bible, but dig it out sometime. And I have mine. <laughs> it's orange, and I love it. I know, I say it every time. It's because I love it every time. I want to read for you Psalm 19, verses 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Psalm 19, verse 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. It says, the heavens proclaim the glory of God. The skies display his craftsmanship. Day after day, they continue to speak. Night after night, they make him known. They speak without a sound or word. Their voice is never heard. Yet their message has gone throughout the earth and their words to all the world. God has made a home in the heavens for the sun. It burst forth like radiant, like a radiant bridegroom after his wedding. It rejoices like a great athlete eager to run the race. The sun rises at one end of the heavens and follows its course to the other, and nothing can hide from its heat. So it says, the heavens declare the glory of God, and it shows his handiwork. And every day and every night, creation is speaking it's speaking to us. It's been speaking to us all of our life, every day, without saying a word. It speak to us if we're listening. Let me say this. When we give our life to and live our life for the God who made us, we can be certain our best days are always ahead of us, not just a, a home in heaven, but a life of abundance and joy while we're here, still living for God's kingdom to come in us and through us. You know that little flicker of light in you, that little tiny flame still burning in you, that curiosity about the things of God? Go in there and, and, and get that light. Guard that little flame. Feed that little fire still burning in there. Add some, some good fuel, like the promises of God. Get in there and stir that up, those little coals that remain. Don't let Satan whoosh out. You know, when you put a bunch of hot coals together, they keep hot and keep making heat. However, you're catching on. <laughs> you pull one of them aside and pretty soon it will cool and maybe die. But do you know what charcoal is? It's partially burned fuel that is ready for ignition. You know how it's made? It's burned at a lower heat and with limited oxygen. Does that sound like you, friend? Cooked? partially burned, deprived of oxygen, set aside. Well, get back in the fire. Get with people who love God. Maybe in a church, maybe not right now. Get yourself some charcoal lighter, some type of Christian influence on the TV or the internet. Better yet, read your own Bible. What do you say you don't know where to start? Well, read the New Testament. It's all about Jesus. Or contact me and I'll try to get you rolling in the right direction. 
Let me read something else for you. That's from the Old Testament book called Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapter 13. Ecclesiastes chapter 13. This is a little bit long, but hang with me. Don't let the excitement of youth cause you to forget your creator. Honor him in your youth before you grow old and say, life is not pleasant anymore. Remember him before the light of the sun, moon, and stars is dim to your old eyes and rain clouds continually darken your sky. Hmm. Remember him before your legs, the guards of your house, <laughs> start to tremble and before your shoulders, the strong men stoop. Remember him before your teeth, your few remaining servants. Huh? Stop grinding, and before your eyes, the windows looking through the, the women looking through the windows, sorry, see dimly, like this, yeah. It's really small print, that's, you know, give me a little break, huh? Keep going here. Remember him before the door to life's opportunities is closed, and the sound of work fades. Now you rise at the first chirping of the birds, but then all of their sounds will grow faint. Remember him before you become fearful of falling and worry about danger in the streets, before your hair turn white like an almond tree in bloom, <laughs> and you drag along without energy like a dying grasshopper, and the caperberry no longer inspires sexual desire. Remember, before you near the grave, your everlasting home, when the mourners will weep at your funeral. Yes, remember your Creator now, while you are young, before the silver cord of life snaps and the golden bowl is broken. Don't wait until the water jar is smashed at the spring and the pulley is broken at the well, for then the dust will return to the earth, and the Spirit will return to God who gave it. There's more, but uh, it's talking about the remember your Creator in your youth when it's easy to, to, uh, to follow God instead of when you're old and your body tells you different and your eyes tell you different. Uh, pursue God while you are young, and it's easy. That pretty much speaks for itself. That's Ecclesiastes chapter 13. You know, there are literally hundreds of prophecies found in the Old Testament that talk about the coming of the Messiah, and they are fulfilled in Jesus. There's many prophecies in the Old Testament of the destruction of cities and of kingdoms. And history and archaeology verify this for us. Many prophecies that speak about the coming again of Jesus and the terrible times of trouble for those who remain on the earth after his coming. It's frightening if you read it. And so I must plead with you now. Would you turn from your sin and your own ways and turn toward Jesus? God loves you so very much, more than you can even know. The very familiar verse, John 3.16, says that God loved the world this much. He gave his only son that whoever trusts in him would not perish but have everlasting life. He doesn't want anyone to miss heaven. Jesus paid the full price for our sin and ours is to reach out for his hand, asking for his help. And he will. Truly, God is good. He has kept us and provided for us all these years. He's prepared a place for us full of unimaginable wonder where we will live forever. And you know in your knower that there is a forever. God put that in there, that we would long for something that this world does not offer. If you feel that God is speaking to your heart today, start a conversation with him. 
something like, uh, Jesus, I believe you died on the cross for my sin. Help me to know you more and to live my life for you, please. That's a prayer that God will answer there. And keep the conversation going. And I'd love to talk with you more about these things. Contact me. I'll buy you breakfast or, or lunch or dinner. Let's do it. I wish you all would call me. <laughs> but you know what? God is calling you to uh, the marriage supper of the Lamb that's happening in heaven. As Jesus is putting it on for us. And we're all going to sit with him. I can hardly wait. Oh, Jesus, draw many to yourself in spite of me. Use the circumstances of the past of these people, the present of these people. Uh, give them a hope and a future. Help them to call out to you uh, for your truth, that they would see um, your plan unfolding in the world today and long for a, a future. Give them understanding of the days ahead that they would not want to be left behind here uh, for those things, but that they would give their life to you uh, and live for you and tell their friends about that too. May it be so, I ask you in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to sing a different song. Um, actually been singing this for about 36 years, and I'm hoping a day will come when uh, you can sing it with me. <clears throat> Happy am I Jesus is mine forever Never to leave Always in each endeavor Leading me on In a life ending never Giving a smile Every mile, happy am I, happy am I, all of my sins forgiven, what a great day, life is now worth the living, one of these days, I'll be enjoying heaven, now that I know, upward I'll go, happy am I. Happy am I, how can I help but shout it every day, telling the world about it, Jesus is real, only believe, don't doubt it, then you will be happy like me, happy am I, then you will be happy like me. Happy am I, <laughs> then you will be happy like me, happy am I. I love you guys. God bless you.